We are back and better than ever. 30 of the world's best Beetleweight robots are fighting it out to take the title from K2. Can any of them manage it? We'll wait and see. Welcome to Bugglebots. <laughs> My name's Nick, I'm from Sutton, and my robot's name is Sir Lancer Frog. Uh, Lancer Frog is a four bar lifter. We're gonna flip the opponent, leave them hopping mad. If we're facing anybody who's quite intimidating, we're gonna do what we always do, which is charge in face first and see what happens. My name's Edward. I'm Isaac. We're from Bristol, and we're team Rust in Pieces. Rust in Pieces is a cluster wedge bot. We have uh, two different configurations we can run in and we're hoping to push our opponents around. But because there's two of us, it makes us harder to fight. We've got to be careful of uh, friendly fire because it can be get confusing out there. I'm here with Rust in Pieces and Sir Lancer Frog. First to our new team, Rust in Pieces. Welcome to Bugglebots. Who are you? I'm Edward. I'm Isaac. Why have you gone with a cluster bot? They're not very popular. Uh, mostly because we both wanted to make a beetle, but didn't want to make one each. So we just thought we'd make one together. So, yeah. so you described your robot as unkillable. <laughs> Why is that? <laughs> uh, I'm going to regret that, definitely. But um, we've been at one event previously, and we only got knocked out in one particular way, and we fixed that weakness. So now, in theory, unkillable. <laughs> okay, you're going up against Sir Lancer Frog, which is a lifter. What's going to be your tactic for this fight? Uh, just try and use the fact there's two of us to keep him a bit confused and stay in control. Isaac, are you going to try not to attack your teammate in this fight? Yeah, that's, that's always a, a bit of a concern. Um, I mean, we have marked them up slightly differently. So this one's got white paint and this one's got a, a gold stripe. We've also got the different attachments on this one. Um, so it shouldn't be too bad, but it has happened previously, especially with ant weights, where we've... Um, well, been focusing on the wrong robot and then one's ended up in the pit when we just weren't looking, so. Well, good luck, guys. And now to Nicholas with Sir Lancer Frog, back from last season. You got the wooden spoon last season. At least you went home with something. Are you looking to improve on that this season? I definitely am. Even though I went home with the wooden spoon and I did quite well in one of the whiteboards, I felt like I definitely underperformed in the main competition. What upgrades have you made to Sir Lancer Frog for this season? Uh, the main upgrade I've made to Sir Lancer Frog is that it is now a four bar lifter instead of just a normal sort of a flap style lifter. Can you show me? Yeah. So the main difference is instead of just lifting up as normal, we have a four bar mechanism that lifts and pushes out the robot. So you're going up against the cluster bot, Rust in Pieces. I've also noticed you've both got what we like to call waggle sticks or jousting sticks. What is this going to help you with in the upcoming battle? Well, the tactic for any fight is to run headfirst at them and see what happens from there. So if it's Lance and Lance action, it might be flagged on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good luck, Nick. The robots are ready. Let's get them to the arena. Welcome to BuggleBots 2019. My name is Stephen McCullough. And my name's Alice Sutherland. And once again, we're your commentary team for this series. First things first, though, some tournament rules. To win, immobilize your opponent. You can do so by smashing them to bits, or you can get some help from our arena hazards. The pit release will be enabled 30 seconds after the fight has started. Hit the floor of the pit or crash into the out of the arena zone, and it's game over. Back again are our referees, Tim Rackers and Shane Lale, who are here to issue 10 counts on any robot that is deemed immobile, and our judges, Anita van der Meer, Ian Botwright, and Kane Aston. If the fight goes the full three minutes with no clear winner, they'll be judging it based on damage, control, and that old favourite, aggression. Let the violence commence. Roboteers, get ready. <laughs> Three, two, one, begin. One against three. You gotta love it. So Lancer Frog in there with the new lifting style weapon should hopefully be a bit better than the flap they had last year. Certainly seems to be having problems here against Rust in Pieces. Great synergy here from the cluster bots. Rust in Pieces working well together. They're very difficult things to fight cluster bots because you really have, realistically, have to pick one and just kill it. 
carefully. It's Lance versus Lance at the moment here, but both of them working together beautifully in order to lift Sir Lance Frog up off the ground. We haven't seen much from Sir Lance Frog's new four bar lifting weapon. A little ant weight there in the top corner, pushing the uh, pit release button. The pit is open. Any one of these machines could end up in it. Question's going to be is are Rust and Peace going to be able to maintain this teamwork long enough to get Sir Lance Frog in the pit? So Lance yeah. Frog getting underneath someone, but they appear. Oh, the flipper's jammed up. Oh, he's got it back. I was worried for a second there. There we see the little waggling <laughs> stick in underneath Sir Lance Frog from one of the little Rust and Pieces machines. They now have been bullied into the corner, but now riding up that ramp right, on, of now. one of the halves of Rust in Pieces, in comes the other half to complete this deadly jigsaw puzzle. Sir Lance Frog reaching out. Almost crying for help here. Rust and Pieces needs to work better together. They're pinning. One of them is pinning against the wall, and they're not trying to guide him to the pit and to eliminate him. This could go badly for them if it goes to the judges. Certainly, Sir Lance Frog heaps leaps of trouble and into the pit they go. Out of nowhere, a quick drive, and that was the frog in the pit. So Nick. What is it like to fight against two two robots that are just trying to team up on you at once? It was hectic. It was just I thought maybe the first time I'd have a chance of one, then literally two others would just appear out of nowhere. One would get behind, and it's very hard to sort of deal with that. There was a beautiful push where both of them were underneath Frog, and it was just they could have carried it anywhere around the arena. So if it's underneath Frog, then there's not a lot I can do except for try and escape. And but then there was always one uh, coming up from the rear so that's it's down to their driving ability then that they were able to kind of manage you that well yeah i mean clusters are it's one of the weaknesses of this bot and it takes a lot of coordination i know in the interview they were saying oh we'll drive into each other we'll drive into the pit but it's very it takes a lot of skill to be able to drive a cluster bot effectively which is exactly what they did there i mean you are not out yet we've got the the redemption rumble to go um do you fancy your chances in that with well you'll still have to to fight two robots at once then um we'll see i mean frog does quite well in big melees but it, as we saw last season in the redemption rumble it's anybody's game well good luck in that everybody give it up for sir lancer frog <laughs> Ed, that, that couldn't have gone much better, really, could it? Uh, not really, no. It was pretty much perfect. Your teamwork was on point. You had him pushing all around the arena. And you just needed to wait for the pit to be available. Yeah, pretty much. Did Aside from opening the pit, did the minibot actually do anything useful? I kind of used him as a compound wedge a few times. <laughs> <laughs> kind of pushed him into Frog. Which wasn't intentional, but he just kind of got in my way. <laughs> <laughs> so... So you've had a chance now, you've got, you've got in the arena, had a chance to, to drive them out, test out your, your tactics and your teamwork. How are you feeling about your chances going forward? You've already got one win under your belt. Uh, better, I would say, because nothing broke immediately, which is always a good sign. <laughs> Could still break later. <laughs> we'll see. Well, we will look forward to seeing you in the Heat semi-finals. Give it up for Rust in Pieces! <laughs> Fantastic. Oh, it was enjoyable. I just wish it had gone a little longer and obviously the result was a little different at the end of it. I mean, I hope it's not a repeat of last season. I hope there's still more life in the frog just yet. I'm Pierce. I'm Spencer. And I'm Novia. I'm from Minnesota. We're from Florida. And our bot is Halo. Our uh, weapon is a melty brain spinner. Our entire robot spins and it can still move around and do stuff while it's doing that. We like to bounce off the walls. It should make for a very fun and energetic match. We're going to smash them to bits. <laughs> My name is Jeroen. I'm from Netherlands and I'm here with Hold My Beer. Hold My Beer is a grabber based on tougher snails. It's supposed to grab the opponent, wait until the pit gets open and drop it in and that's it. I'm here with Halo and Hold My Beer. First we're gonna talk to Halo. You're a new team to BuggleBots, and I'm told that you have five degrees between the three of you. Can you tell me about that? Yeah, uh, we're all engineers at least. I'm a double E, uh, Pierce is both double E and mechanical engineer, uh, and Novia is an electrical engineer as well as uh, applied physics, and she's working on her sixth degree. Uh, she's going for a PhD in physics right now. 
Oh, wow. Okay, so hopefully <laughs> you've got the technical skills between you for this competition. So you've built a, a melty brain. Yes. Can you tell me how this differs from a full body spinner? So full body spinners usually talk about having some kind of shell that spins around the outside of the bot. Uh, we The whole bot spins. There, there is no separate element. It's just a, uh, a spinner. So the all of the weight uh, of the bot is in the weapon, which is good. Uh, it's got a bunch of electronics in it. Uh, and a couple of sensors that work together so it knows where it is in real time. Uh, and then it can actually pulse the motor speeds while spinning to move in a particular direction. You're up against the pincer, hold my beer. How do you think you're going to do against hold my beer and what's your strategy for him? He's a little weird to fight. Um, I will admit that. We can hit, at least hit him from every direction. So I think our plan is just hit him really hard and see if he breaks. <laughs> well, good luck, guys. Now, over to Hold My Beer. Now, you were behind the camera last season. What made you decide to come and fight this season? Well, uh, last year uh, I enjoyed watching the fights, but couldn't be part of it. So I was like, wait, I can do this. And uh, let's build a beetle. It's my first. Why did you decide to build a pincer robot? Um, as you might have guessed, it's heavily based on uh, tougher snails. Tougher snails... Um, Maybe it's a good time to explain. I did not build tough as nails. <laughs> I was like, well, let's do something like tough as nails. And let's call it hold my beer. You're going up against the melty brain. What are you hoping to do to Halo? Uh, well, <laughs> uh, melty brains are new for me. Uh, in, the, in, the, in heavyweights, we don't have them, uh, I think. Uh, I, I did fight spinners in the past, and it's just smart driving. So that's my plan, and hold my beer. <laughs> well, good luck, Jerome. The robots are ready. Let's get them to the arena. Roboteers, get ready. <laughs> Three, two, one. Begin. Well, Halo certainly has the brains behind it. Does it have the brawn as Hold My Beer looks a little bit drunk itself? Halo, a very similar robot to SCD last year. You'll notice that the uh, the lights on it help guide the driver it's to like figure out where it's going. It's like some sort of bizarre inverse UFO here as it spins about madly. Not a great amount of control so far hold my beer thinking about coming in for an attack which could be a mistake because that just gives halo more time to get to full power oh but he's going for the pit and missed it there he goes he's got it now it comes very awkward battle this is so far hit each other come on come on do something run it a little deflection there, hit the arena wall. Action. Oh, and another hit. Thrown back in to hold my beer. Hold my beer appears to have lost drive on one side. He's crab walking across the arena. I'm not surprised after that huge hit. Just moving in. Slowly but surely, one ring to rule them all. Oh! What a hit. The thing you have to remember is that's the entire weight of the robot is oh, the weapon there. There goes the there wheel. Goes the, wheel. the wheel is buckled Nine. and broken. That was an angelic win for the Halo machine. Two, one, six. And that is a win for Halo. Spin to win, literally. Hold my beer. The tab's up. Go pay at the bar. Hold my beer, I think, is in need of a pint after that fight. <laughs> hold my beer? You couldn't hold your own. <laughs> You, you just got destroyed. I was waiting for them to attack me, but they didn't. So I was like, well, hold my beer and... <laughs> <laughs> you weren't... <laughs> don't, don't clap that! <laughs> you, weren't, you weren't waiting for them to attack, you were running away! I was giving them time to spin up, because it's... <laughs> because that's always a sensible idea against it's, a robot like this. It's a complicated robot. I, I noticed they had some issues driving it. I was like, okay, let's give him some time and we'll see. Uh, so how, what has happened to your robot then? Is it, is, it, is it completely wrecked or do you reckon you'll get it fixed? I think it's only the motor mount or maybe only the wheel mount. So five minutes and... Also not much damage. Nope. So that, that's not bad. Right, well... 
I, I want to say you fought valiantly, but you didn't really. Uh, give it up, but only a little bit for Hold My Beer. <laughs> Well, Spencer, that's what your robot's built to do, right? Pretty much, yeah. Uh, there were some problems. Our, our beacon didn't reach the far corner, so we had trouble driving over there. But as soon as we got closer in, uh, it was much better. Is that what this bunker's piece of apparatus is here? Yeah. Yes, yeah, this is what the device does. It, uh, and some more stuff that is uh, definitely top secret. <laughs> it tells it where forward is. Yeah. Uh, Excellent. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, now you've seen your robot in the arena, you've, you've smashed up one butt, think you can go all the way? We'll see. <laughs> I'm loving the confidence in these teams. Uh, I mean, if you keep smashing up bots like that, I'm, you're going to take some stop and give it up for Halo! I have some of that. <laughs> this is your battle victory. Oh, oh, thank you. Wow. Uh, we we bent it. A good amount, uh, like five, ten degrees. <laughs> it's probably a dead gearbox, but I have to go. Oops. Is that your lipo? No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, my name is Mark Lee, I'm from South Wales, and uh, my robot's K2. K2 is a beta spinner, four wheel drive, um, and current uh, Series 1 winner. You're going to have to be super aggressive and just keep applying pressure. Hopefully, he's going to tear some chunks out of uh, a few of the robots. Hi, I'm Sam Price from Shrewsbury, and the robot is Maximum Overdrive. Maximum Overdrive is a, an overhead saw bot, so the idea is to get people against the wall and then bring the saw down and cut through their everything. I mean, after last year, they've got everyone scared, so let's see what happens. I'm here with Maximum Overdrive and K2. First, we're going to come to Maximum Overdrive. Sam, is it good to be back? It is very good to be back. Yeah. What upgrades have you made to Maximum Overdrive since last season? Uh, so it's completely new chassis. Um, we've got a bit more reach on the arm and we've got this nice big saw blade here. Um, it's quite a lot bigger than last year, so it should go through deeper. We gave out a questionnaire to teams to ask them which robots they would and would not like to fight. You were ranked second on the do not want to fight. Why do you think that might be? I don't know. I'm really nice. I don't know. <laughs> no, I, th I think it's, it's you know, it attacks in a, in a different way to most things. So getting that kind of top armour thick enough to not get through it is uh, it's quite difficult. So You're up against K2. Going up against the champ for your first fight. How do you feel about this? It's going to be a good fight, I think. Um... I don't think he can do too much damage to me. He's not sort of one of the biggest spinners, but he's just, he's very relentless, very tough. He's a very good driver. Well, good luck, Sam. So now over to K2. Mark, is it good to be back defending your title? Yeah, brilliant. Uh, slightly nervous, though. Well, I say slightly, massively nervous. There is a bit of a target on your back to take the title from you. How do you feel about it? Um, yeah, yeah, it's nice to be, it's nice to be challenged. I think there's a lot here that is, you know, scary. What have you changed to K2 to upgrade it for this season? Uh, K2 has gone from 3S to 4S, so um, it's a higher voltage, so it should be a bit quicker. And the the weapon poly is a bit more, more taut, so it should give a bit more reliability. Now, you've seen some of the other robots that are in the competition, had a good look around the pits. Are there any robots you think might be worthy of taking your title this year? Well, the two I didn't want to fight from the start would probably be Ogre Drive and Dedulous, you know, not not at the start. So I think potentially, you know, they, they have got... You think they're going to be quite challenging yeah, for you. So you're up against Maximum Ogre Drive. What's going to be your tactic for him? Um, just keep going forward. Um, try and not allow him to go around to the back. It's, I've, got, I've got a bit of armour on the side, so... He can get through my lid. It's not very thick, so I just keep just keep hitting them. Hopefully. Well, good luck, Mark. The robots are ready. Let's get them to the arena. Roboteers, get ready. Three, two, one. Begin. They're the defending champions of Bogglebots, but can K2 hold on to its crown? 
fighting against possibly one of the most terrifying robots here in Maximum Overdrive with that massive overhead saw. Maximum Overdrive on oh, the blade! Shattered to bits by that deadly egg-beating weapon of K2, proving why they're the champions. The beta bar has absolutely blended the disc. Maximum Overdrive now up on its top, self writes beautifully. The pit is now active. K2 now under pressure from Maximum Overdrive. Taking a few more slams there from that egg beater, but they're not giving up, not without a fight. Oh, it's valiant, oh, it's brave, it's being flung about. It's in trouble. That small voltage increase from 3S to 4S has just made K2 such a different animal. It's an absolute beast now. It's given it the pushing power, it's given it the weapon, the bite that it needed from last year. Last year of K2 was brutal. This year I don't see how Sam is winning this one for a kickoff, but I don't see any role saying that. K2 just stopping there. Maximum overdrive certainly has the better control, I think. The better. Oh, well, no, there it goes. There it goes a wheel. Thank you so much. K2 absolutely eight, dominating seven, maximum overdrive six, as five, the countdown finally four, comes. Three, there you can see two, a battered, one. beaten, and bashed machine. Overdrive limping around in the corner there. K2 making a statement as to why he's the reigning champion. Be a hard bot to beat that, that's for sure. So, before the cameras started rolling, you said to me, that wasn't much damage. There's bits of you all over the arena. Yeah, it's all plastic though, so everything that's been damaged I've got spares of. So it's a 10 minute fix. Oh, that's okay then. I mean, once he took your saw out, was that you essentially taking out the game really? Yeah, I sort of noticed before we went in that his, his beat would hit the saw sort of regardless of what I did, so I sort of used it to try and stop his, uh, so I'll go for his belt. It didn't work, but... Uh, well, you're not out of the competition yet. You've still got the loser's melee to go. Um, how do you fancy your chances in that? You've done pretty well in, in melees in the past. Is, uh, is that something you can come through? I mean, hopefully. Um, we'll get the damage fixed. There's a good robot in there, so might have a look. Yeah, how does it feel to be drawn against the reigning champion in the first round? <laughs> oh, somebody has to do it, and this time it was you. I mean, it, was, it, was always, it could have gone either way, but I think I held my own, so I'm, I'm happy with that. Yeah, so. of course. Right, give it up for Maximum Mocha Drive! <laughs> the title defense begins with a win and a pretty imperious one at that. How did that feel? Amazing. Um, I was really nervous about fighting Sam because uh, he haven't got a lot of armor, so I thought, uh, you know, Sam can finish a fight very easily, so I, that was great. You seem to be getting stuck on the arena. Are you a your little wedgelets yeah, a bit too low down? Yeah, they got caught on caught on the seams of the floor. Is but that something you? It's an e that's surely an easy fix, right? Oh well, I'm not going to pick them up, so they, they'll. <laughs> <ca> <laughs> that's just something that's going to have to happen, I think. So, you've you're the reigning champion. You've already won one fight. How far can you get this time? And are you going to retain your title? No, oh, well, I think that'd be amazing, but. Um, you know, there's a lot of good good robots here, so I'm just going to have to take every fight as it come. That's a good attitude to have. Give it up for your reigning champion, K2! <laughs> I really enjoyed it, yeah. Um, he sort of took the saw out early on, so I tried to use it as a battering ram, but he, he got a hit on the wheel, and that was it, I think. We're ready for the redemption melee with Hold My Beer, Sir Lancer Frog, and Maximum Ogre Drive. Jerome, did you have many repairs after fighting Halo? Everything was bent. <laughs> it, it looked it looked okay-ish, like one motor was broken, but the further I took it apart, the more uh, defects I found. So it's mostly repaired now. What are your strategies for going up against these two? Well, my first round was quite heavy and so I'm okay maybe the loses melee and then I get maximum ogre drive and Sir Lancer Frog so <laughs> I have a tactic uh, not gonna tell right. good luck Jerome Nick didn't do so well against Rust in Pieces what repairs have you had um, well it turns out I cooked a gearbox in the first 10 seconds of that fight so it was swapped the whole motor over made sure that it ran again 
it's running as sweet as it was before. Got a strategy for this melee? Um, with all the respect in the world to Jerome, it's going to be drive through his bot and try and impale it on the front of Ogre Drive. <laughs> Let him deal with the damage and then me tighten Use him up. as a shield. Maximum Ogre Drive. You got pretty chewed up by K2. You're going to do things differently this time? Yeah, um, we went pretty aggressive in that one. He got the saw pretty early on. That's not going to happen this time. So, You ready for this rumble? Yeah, why not? <laughs> <laughs> well, good luck, teams. The robots are ready. Let's get them to the arena. Roboteers, get ready. Three, two, one, begin. Well, I never thought I'd see the day that Sir Lancer Frog and Maximum Ogre Drive would be in the loser's melee, but here we are, and they're both tussling with each other. Hold my beer, currently getting drunk in the background. Oh, coming in for a huge slam there. Ogre Drive trying to bring the sword down on Sir Lancer Frog, but just couldn't get the angle right. Hopefully got a better grip on that. Oh, and has Ogre Drive stopped working? Surely not! What on earth has happened? What? Ten. No, the sword's still Nine. working. Darling! The drive's just of gone. Control. Seven. Do you want to Overhead. Eight. Spinners! Six. Five. The whole system's gone dead. I wonder Four. what's happened. That's such a shame. Three. One of the most feared robots in the two. competition. And it's just One. died. That's it! You're They're out. gone! Right, and then there were two! Hold my beer and Sir Lancer Frog! So Lancer Frog will now be so happy that the saw's out of commission. Oh, they've triggered the pet. And Hold My Beer is not in a good position here, so Lancer Frog could easily take this. Yep, bringing up that four-bar lifter to try and control Hold My Beer into the pet. Skirting the edge of the pit carefully then, really needs to watch out what he's doing. Well, it's certainly a case of drunk driving here almost for Hold My Beer as they're being bullied around the arena. There is the defeated Maximum Ogre Drive. Using it as an obstacle in the arena to try and get some breathing space. And oh, oh, nice little oh, grab! Beautifully grabbing pin there from that yeah. Sir Lancer Frog. Using that weapon, almost like a clamp on Hold My Beer. And that is Sir Lancer Frog hopping right. mad and hopping back into the competition. Sorry, what happened? It just, it just stopped in the middle of the arena. Do we, know, do we know what happened yet? It just lost drive. I have no idea why. Something must have happened internally, um, like the wheels are spinning, but not when the controller tells them to. <laughs> oh, that's a shame. The weapon was still working, though. Yeah, weapon was working, arm was working, drive stopped. Oh, well, that's a massive shame, but you are still coming back for, for the Dung Beetle Rumble? Yeah. So, ten robots all fighting together. That's going to be brilliant, isn't it? Yeah, we'll work out what's wrong and then come back. Excellent. Right, can we give it up for Maximum Ogre Drive? <laughs> Jerome, I will give you credit. You didn't spend this battle running away. You actually did try and fight this time. Yes, and that's why I found out something important because it runs both ways, but it looks the same. <laughs> <laughs> so you couldn't tell if you were upside down or not? So the bit when I was near the pit area, I was like, okay, I have to move really slowly. <laughs> <laughs> so I got to mark one side for, well, the next fight. And yeah, for the Dung Beetle, because you're in there as well. Uh, how do you fancy your chances? You'll be up against, obviously, Ogre Drive again, but, and eight other robots. Um, I'm lost for it now. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's a great, great, yeah, that's a great approach. I'm sure that will do you well. Uh, can we give it up for Hold My Beer? <laughs> Well, congratulations, Nick. You are back in the main competition. That does, however, mean you don't get to defend your Dung Beetle crown. But is it? It's better to be in the main competition, isn't it? It is, although I had plans for that second spoon. <laughs> <laughs> Just going to cross them like a coat of arms. Yeah, put one on the other side, sort of make the symmetry. Excellent. So you're back in the main competition. Yeah, because it was a tough fight against Rust in Pieces. Um, anyone else in the heat that you are that you're worried about? Um, it was Ogre Drive that I was most worried about, and I'm, I want to say that I'm absolutely gutted the way it's gone out. I know that Sam deserves better than that, so it's a shame that he's gone out this way. As for anybody else in the heat, bring them on. Excellent. That's fighting talk we like to see. Right, give it up for your heat semi-finalist, Sir Lancer Frog! <laughs> It's frog time. Oh yeah. 
Well, the crowd is certainly on side, so don't let them down. Being my first Beatle, I learned a lot from it. Everything's so small. <laughs> and, well, maybe next time I will make design a robot that can win. The drive motors, when they're new, they produce quite a lot of noise. And we think it's just done a lot of noise and crashed the entire system, so... We're ready for the heat semi-final and we have Rust in Pieces versus Halo. Rust in Pieces, did you have many repairs after the last fight? Not at all, in fact. Well, that's good. How are you going to take on Halo? Uh, mostly just pray we don't die. <laughs> Try and like knock them off balance, push them around a bit. No idea how that's going to go. <laughs> What's your plan for this fight? Uh, well, we've changed the configuration a bit, so we've got the uh, keep away sticks. Um, so we'll see how well they keep away. Um, <laughs> Yeah, we'll find out. <laughs> Good luck, guys. Halo, did you have many repairs after that last fight? No, we didn't have any damage at all, but we determined that our beacon wasn't reaching fully across the arena, so we were having issues steering in that uh, corner, which is why we didn't drive very well over there. We've since added two additional LEDs to the controller, the beacon controller, which should help us get to that far corner and allow us to steer over in that corner. What's your strategy for a cluster bot? Well, the benefit of us is we attack in every direction at the same time. Uh -huh. um, so just spin real fast and try not to end up in the pit. <laughs> How do you think this one's going to go, Novia? Uh, I'm pretty optimistic. Last time, uh, the only damage is uh, we gained some paint from the arena. <laughs> so we'll just gain some more paint. <laughs> well, good luck, Halo. Good luck to both teams. The robots are ready. Let's get them in the arena. Roboteers. Get ready. Three, two, one, begin. Will these cluster bots be rusting in pieces as Halo gets itself up to speed? Halo getting up to speed there and pinballing around the arena. That's a, a hockey puck around the arena there. Great control, however, from Rust in Pieces. Rust in Pieces trying to keep wow. Halo from spinning up. Meanwhile, Halo getting out of there and then spinning up to full power, hopefully soon. It's a quick machine. It's devastating. I don't think it has the control. Halo is one and a half kilos of full spinning power. Oh, they're over the pit. Can they get away from there before someone activates it? And there oh, time God. goes to the and Halo gone. Unlucky for the Halo guys. They got stuck right by the pit and Rust in Pieces took advantage of that moment. That was absolutely textbook. Was that a tale of bad luck? You were just on the pit at the wrong time? I mean, it's bound to happen eventually. We're kind of random in general. <laughs> Although they were really, they were hounding you from the start. They weren't letting you get up to speed at all, were they? No, they actually managed to stop us and pin us, so that's pretty impressive. So you're not out of the competition. You are through to the 10-way rumble between all of the losing semi-finalists. And then the winner of that goes into another rumble with all of the, <laughs> with all the heat runners up. So if you get through that, you'll have come through a lot of butts. So struggle, you struggled against two at once. Maybe you can handle nine at once. Well, I like to say we can attack in every direction at once. <laughs> <laughs> I look forward to seeing that. Give it up for Halo! <laughs> The journey continues. You've got past Sir Lancer Frog. You've got past Halo. You're into the heat final. How does that feel? Indescribable relief. <laughs> <laughs> you were really worried about these guys, weren't you? Uh, yeah, I was wetting myself. <laughs> <laughs> well, it seems you've changed your pants and it's all worked out fine. Where was the mini bot in that fight? With the with all of the armor wedges on, we don't have enough weight for the mini bot. Okay, fair also, enough. Also, it would have been turned into plastic confetti. So <laughs> yeah, but we wanted to see that. <laughs> we would have done it if we had the weight. So oh well. Uh, so yeah, you're going through the heat final. Um, do you think you can maybe make it through and get to the grand final? I don't want to jinx it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, that's fair. Okay, give it up for your heat finalists, Rust in Pieces. <laughs> Shape. Yeah, we kind of expected something like that to happen. It's, it's good. pretty kinetic. We got just got stuck up on the pit cover, I think, and 
then uh, couldn't get off fast enough for before the pip dropped. Yeah, I'll have to engage the drive mode more often. It seems to be a good escape method. Yeah. <laughs>I'm here with Sir Lancer Frog and K2. Sir Lancer Frog, did you have many repairs after the last fight? Um, no, there's just a few superficial scratches to one of the wheel guards from Ogre Drive, but apart from that, it was fighting fit. Now you're up against the reigning champ, K2. What's your strategy for K2? Um, well, up until this point, I've had to be a little conservative, but I think it's to be able to beat the champion, you have to be a bit harder. It, you have to be like a bully frog. You have to get in there. You have to give him no space. Because we know from last season, if you give him one chance, then the whole match can turn on that. Well, good luck, Nick. K2, did you have many repairs from your last fight? Um, I had to tighten up some uh, screws and that was it. You got a little bit beached with your little wedgelets on the front. Have you done yeah. anything to change that? No, I, I want to run them as close as I can to the ground just to you know, make sure I can get under people. Otherwise, I might as well take him off. You're up against a very tough wedge. Have you got a plan for him? Just pressure. Just keep, just keep driving at him. Well, good luck, Mark. Good luck to both teams. Let's get them in the arena. Roboteers, get ready. Three, two, one, begin. It's a case of the ground game here, and certainly K2 has it. That's a leapfrog in the arena now. Straight away, the lots of frog going flying off the front of K2. K2 with another huge slam. Look at the buckling on the front of Sir Lancer Frog now. The little fork wedgelets on the front of K2 doing exactly what they're designed to do. Getting right under, lifting that wedge up just enough so when the bar comes round, it's getting a nice big bite into it. It's being bullied, Pits battered and beaten late. around the arena now. Look at this spreading all across it. K2, an absolute oh, dominant beast in this arena. And I think Ten, that is it nine, for Sir Lancer Frog. Frog. Isn't going anywhere. Seven, the wheels are moving, six, but the weapon's not five, moving. And it's definitely four, not running invertible. Three, it's not running two, at all. One, That's the final five, seconds five, pointed out. The Lancer Frog has been defeated, sir. There's a new Knight of the Realm, and its name is K2. Nick, I mean, you had a right good go at him, but he's taken chunks right off the front of your robot. Yep, he's had a right good go at it. I said in the interview beforehand that I'd have to be a bully and sort of get on him straight away, but my quickest wasn't as quick to get underneath that drum at the front. He just spun up so quick. It spun up so quickly, and I thought maybe if we did have a contact, I would flip over. He would maybe fly onto his... Uh, inverted but no it was just a lot of frog, uh, frog flying about the arena i mean it was great to watch um i guess that's the only thing you can really do against a spinner like that is just go for it and hope that the power of your robot takes him out it is i mean we saw last season it can frog can take a couple of hits from a couple of spinners but i mean the champion is obviously a different level well, we get to see you in the 10-way uh, between all of the losing semi-finalists. You've already got one 10-way title under your belt. So do you maybe fancy your chances of getting through that? Oh, we'll have a, a really good go. Excellent. That's what we like to hear. Give it up for Sir Lancer Frog! <laughs> the champion marches on. I suppose it's, is that why you are the champion? Just... That was imperious, pretty much. Um, yeah, it was really good. I, to be fair to Nicholas, he's a really good driver, and you know, it, it wasn't something I had approached thinking, you know, it was going to be that quick. Um, I did expect to be flipped over, mind, and then just uh, driving upside down. Sometimes it's the rub of the green, and you got it this time. Yeah, yeah, it's you know, it's, it's I couldn't have asked for anything better. So the robot's still in perfect nick. Yeah, re recharge the batteries, and fingers crossed, we're ready to go. We'll see you in the heat final. You're up against Rust in Pieces. How do you feel about that? A little bit chaotic, but uh, you just have to deal with it, don't we? Well, yeah, we will. Right, we'll see you there. Give it up for K2! There. The wedge was plastic, so it was always going to be a little bit uh, <laughs> chewed up by 
spinners and such like that. The main problem was the hatch for the link got it well exploded for the robot, so I'm going to have to replace that. Other than that, it should be fine. Charge the batteries, but yeah, the paintworks were in, so what can you do? We are ready for the heat final, and I'm here with Rust in Pieces, who is taking on the champ K2. Rust in Pieces, you only built your first beetle a couple of months ago. Did you think you'd be here taking on the champ in the heat final? Not really, no, to be honest. It's kind of surprising how well we've been doing. Hopefully it carries on. I mean, you've taken out Halo. I mean, Halo was, uh, you know, people were scared of Halo. How do you feel about that? Well, I was scared of Halo. <laughs> we, I think we were both scared of Halo. Um, we're really glad that fight went as well as it did. Um, it could have been a very different story. Isaac, how do you feel about taking on K2? Have you got a plan? Um, we've obviously gone with the Lance configuration again. Um, and we've got the titanium wedges on. This seemed to work pretty well for Halo with the keep away stick. Obviously, K2 is a a bit more vertical. So we'll, we'll see how that works. We might get chucked about a bit, but hopefully it'll be okay. Well, good luck, guys. Mark, these two have done quite well. Are you are you feeling a bit worried about them, maybe? Yeah, yeah. They did, you know, I watched it last fight. It was, it was really good. So I've just got to make sure I stay on top of them. Did you have many repairs from your last fight? No, I've recharged batteries. So <laughs> that was about it. So Rust in Pieces is a cluster which you haven't fought yet. How do you think you're going to do taking on two of them? Um, I think it's going to be stressful um, because they did did well uh, working together. So I just just got to focus on one and hopefully destroy it. Do you have anything to say to them? Good luck. <laughs> do you have anything to say back to that? Good luck. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> the robots are ready. Let's get them in the arena. Roboteers. Get ready. Three, two, one, begin. The grand final, just one fight away for both of these machines. K2 with a huge slam into the side of one of those cluster bots and another one. The thing is with this fight is Mark has got to fight two people Ten, in this one. Nine, and both those Rust and Pieces bots can work. Oh! Part of the arena of a bounce back in from one half of the little cluster bots. These things are taking a beating, but one Ten, stopped dead. Nine, it doesn't look like it's eight, being beat. Seven, I think it's actually dead six, this time. Five, that just goes to show four, the immense three, colossal part two, that is in that cage. Oh, and he's got the other one out with a massive hit. Completely out of the arena. Who needs a flipper? Who needs an axe? Who needs a spinner when you have the egg beater? The weapon on K2 there, setting standards for all the other spinners in this competition. Well, Rust in Pieces, you took on the champion on his own turf and he just smacked you down, didn't he? He did a bit, yeah. It's not gone very well to plan. You were just trying to, trying to dr outdrive him, get him up, but I think he, he got one of you up on this side almost straight away and you were on the back foot from there. Yeah, pretty much. Um, we just couldn't recover, really. Apparently, he's he's split open your wedge. Uh, that's what's that held together with? Uh, just wood screws. Uh, I'll probably just put a few new ones in. Hopefully, <laughs> it's going to say because you're not out of the competition yet. You still have the Rumblebee, which can get you a place back in the grand final. Six robots fighting together. Well, seven with you guys in it. Um, do you think you got a chance? Uh, I don't know, we, we don't tend to do so well in fights that aren't 1v1 because the numbers advantage doesn't mean as much. Uh, but we'll have to wait and see. Well, good luck there and give it up for Rust in Pieces! <laughs> Mark, that was just sheer domination, wasn't it? Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> Come on, you're, you're allowed to be confident. I know, I know. Um, yeah, I was really nervous because I just had visions of just driving over the top of him constantly and obviously not being able to do anything. But luckily I was able to get under him and uh, fling, him out, fling him about a bit. It's not a particularly heavy spinner, but it hits really hard, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. It's, you know, it's probably one of the smaller spinners, um, apart from solos, if you class that as a spinner. Um, you know, it's not a massive amount of weight. It's probably like a third of the size of a lot of them. But uh, it's doing the job. Yeah, it gets the job done. K2 marches into the final. The champion's still in. Give it up for K2! Yeah!
Let's be honest, it wouldn't be the grand final without the reigning champion, but K2's going there. We'll see you next time on BuggleBots. It's gonna kill the competition. It's gonna kill everything. It's gonna eat tires. I'm on an all wheels diet. The weapon of my road is a direct drive full body spinner. It's a frisbee. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna stare him down and push him around the arena. Lots of speed, lots of weight, and launches robots against the ceiling. It only caught on fire twice. 28 mile an hour top speed, 120 mile an hour tip speed on the axe. He's really looking forward to meeting a load of new friends, and hopefully they're gonna play nice with him. One of the long forks got stuck in the fire!